Hello, now this is the day that I know a lot of you out there have been waiting for and it's basically the day that I've been working towards for the past four months now. So right now as you're watching this video, my drone course is now live. Now make sure that you watch this video right to the end because for the first 72 hours of this course being live, I'm going to offer 10% off and the discount code will be at the end of this video. So basically, this drone course is designed to take you from anywhere from a beginner or an intermediate drone pilot all the way to an advanced drone pilot and videographer. So if you've basically just bought your drone and you've got no idea where to start, that's a great place to start. Or if you're a bit more established but you just want to take your videography and that sort of thing to the next level, this course is going to help you to do exactly that. Now along with the course I'm also releasing three cinematic LUT packs. So I've got my colour correction LUT, my one click D-Log M LUT and then my premium cinematic LUT collection and that premium cinematic look collection is also going to be included in the course completely free of charge. Now to explain what's included in the course, it's going to be much easier and much more effective for me to just play back the video that I actually made explaining the course. So I'm going to play that for you in three, two, one, now. Hey, welcome to the beginner to advanced drone videography course. This course is specifically designed to take you from either a beginner or intermediate drone pilot all the way to an advanced drone pilot and videographer. Now, whether you've just bought a brand new mini drone or the most expensive Mavic Pro series drone or basically anything in between, this course is for you. You see, I know that you see all of these epic drone shots in videos everywhere, but then when it comes to you, your shots just don't look as good. There's, there's something missing. Well, we all start somewhere and when I first picked up a drone, my footage was nowhere near as good as it is now. But over the years, I've learned and developed lots of little things that all add up to make a truly massive difference to the quality of my footage. And guess what? I'm going to teach you all of that through the 15 value-packed and expertly crafted modules that make up this course. We'll start off by really getting to know your drone, how it flies, and all of the fundamental skills that you need to learn and practice in order to become a better pilot before then moving on to all of the details about the drone's camera, all of its settings, and how to optimize them for the most cinematic footage. I'll then take you through some of the flying drills that I personally use to improve and fine tune my skills, along with all of the cinematography and storytelling that goes into making world-class footage. And then finally, I'm gonna show you how to edit all of this into a captivating and interesting video, plus a lot more along the way. But why me? Well, I am genuinely passionate about teaching people new skills, and I pride myself in being able to break down really complex topics and make them easy to understand, even if it's the first time that you're hearing about it. And my community on YouTube will definitely vouch for my teaching ability, where I've already helped hundreds of thousands of people get better with their drones. And if that's not enough for you, I'm also a certified DJI Academy accredited creator. So you're in good hands. My course is crafted in a way which constantly builds on foundational information that we're learning along the way, so that as you progress, you're building on the knowledge that you've already gained as you move through it without any of the fluff and quite frankly, pointless information that I see being offered in some other courses. This course also actually has knowledge checkpoints throughout, just so that you can make sure you're understanding everything as we go along. And it also has a ton, and I mean a ton, of extra resources to go along with it. Things like flight maneuver practice sheets, cinematography help sheets, drone move sheets, camera setting sheets, and so much more. You will also get access to my course member Discord and Facebook groups where you can chat with other people taking the course and also talk to me about any questions that you might have. But not only that, you are also going to get my premium cinematic look collection completely for free with this course. This means that you can get started straight away by getting the exact same cinematic look that I use in all of my videos with basically two color correction LUTs and eight beautiful cinematic LUTs designed by me to make your footage stand out. If I could wish one thing about this course, it would be that it was around when I was first starting to fly drones, as this would have literally taken years off of my learning curve and taken me straight to being an advanced drone pilot and videographer as quickly and efficiently as possible. But the good news for you is that this course is here at that exact perfect moment. So take a look below at the course and module breakdown, and then I'll see you in the first module so that we can transform your drone footage 
together. So there you go. It's actually pretty crazy looking back on it, just how much I actually managed to cram into the course. It's honestly jam packed full of value and I'm really excited for you guys to sink your teeth into it. So now let me tell you about the three look collections that I'm actually releasing. So they're also live right now and available to purchase. I will leave them linked in the description. But the first one is going to be my color correction looks. Basically, the D Log M to Rec 709 looks that you can download from DJI. I didn't actually find this to be very good. I used it a couple of times, but I felt like it was just taking the image too far, making it too contrasty, too saturated, and not doing a true uh, D Log to Rec 709 conversion. So I basically designed my own custom look that I've been using for sort of the past year now, and I'm including that one in this collection along with a color correction look for the normal color profile. Now, this might sound a bit strange to you, but basically, I think the normal color profile just looks too harsh, overly saturated, overly contrasty, and not that cinematic, to be honest. So I also developed a LUT that is gonna correct that normal color profile footage to basically make it more cinematic and just way more pleasing to look at. Okay, so then next up, we have my one-click D-Log-M cinematic LUT. Now, these are basically my eight cinematic LUTs in D-Log-M ready format. So you just take the LUT, drag it onto your raw D-Log-M footage, and you'll get an instant cinematic look. Now I designed all of these looks specifically to sort of target different kind of feels, different landscapes and different cinematic looks. Now I've seen a lot of different looks on the market out there and a lot of them will really quickly turn your footage to junk or they push things too far and they just don't look very cinematic. And I feel like looks should be sort of natural with an elevation on top of it so that you get a nice cinematic look without pushing things crazy far and things just starting to look a bit weird. So we have my D-Log-M LUTs and also included with that is going to be that D-Log-M 2 Rec 709 custom conversion LUT. And then last of all, we have the premium cinematic look collection. Now this has basically got everything and this is gonna offer you the most control along with the sort of fastest color grading as well. So basically in the premium cinematic look collection, you have all of my one-click D-Log-M LUTs and then you also have those same LUTs, but in Rec 709 ready format. So what this allows you to basically do is to take more control of your color grade and color correction separately. So with the premium LUTs, you can first apply the D-Log M to Rec 709 conversion LUT to your footage to color correct it. And then you can apply one of these cinematic LUTs in Rec 709 ready format. And here you can also just adjust the intensity of the slider in order to have a little bit more control over your cinematic look and your color correction separately. So for those of you who want the most control and flexibility with your color grading, the premium cinematic look collection is for you. So with all of this talk about LUTs, it's actually gonna be handy for me to show you what each of these actually looks like and explain what they all do. So I'm gonna take you to a little section of video here where I explain all of these LUTs in detail. Okay, let me take you through all of the cinematic LUTs. So first off, we have Coastal Bliss. This one has been specifically designed and optimized to work really well on any coastal clips, whether that be by the beach, on an island, or by the cliffs. It basically works really good in all of these different situations. So next up, we have Cool Breeze. Now this is designed to give the video a colder feel to it, and it also focuses on making some of the other colors stand out, whilst giving that footage a sort of cool morning feel to it. And next up is gonna be my signature look. Now, this works really well on basically any footage and just gives the video a nice cinematic look that you can basically just apply to any clip, whatever the situation. So after that, we have my Lush Forests LUT. Now this brings any forest scene to life by balancing rich greens with the rest of the forest foliage. And as the name suggests, it works really good in forest clips with lots of greenery in them. And then similar to that, we also have emerald gold. Now this one is also tuned to work some magic into the greens by giving them a touch of gold, whilst again also balancing and elevating some other complementary colors in the scene to make a really nice cinematic look. And then next up, we have my teal and orange LUT. Now teal and orange is a widely used color grade, and this is my own personal version that I've been refining over the years to work well with drone and also other camera footage. So after that, we have Sapphire. Now this is a very special look that works really nicely in certain applications. Now just look at how it transforms this mountainscape. Now it's a very nice look that isn't overdone as I feel is normally the case with a lot of LUTs. And the last, but by no means least, is Honeydew. I designed this look to work especially well with sunrise and sunset footage. It's a beautiful look that when paired with the right clips looks absolutely <laughs> astonishing. 
You see, just how good do those LUTs look? Honestly, I'm so happy with the end result. I put a lot of time into them. Some of those LUTs have actually been in development for a couple of years now as I've been fine tuning them and tweaking them as I go along. And I just wanted to make sure that you could get the absolute best possible product when I finally came to releasing them. So they're now ready to go. Now, along with that, I've also actually been doing a few other things along the way in the last sort of four months along with the course. Now, the main thing here was I entered the DJI Academy competition. Now, basically what I had to do here was create some tutorials, articles, and I basically just had to make a load of content for the DJI Academy. Now, because I placed really highly, I came second overall. I was actually awarded with a DJI Academy accredited creator accreditation. So basically I'm one of only three DJI Academy accredited creators currently in the world, which is quite an accolade. And I'm pretty sure I'm actually the only one that's outside of China. So because I came second, I also actually won a DJI Air 3 as my prize, not an Air 3S, an Air 3. And it's currently stuck in customs jail in Thailand whilst trying to make its way to me. So fingers crossed it's gonna make its way through soon, but uh, we'll wait and see. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting that out and making some content with it while the flies attack me in my ears. So that was also an awful lot of work. I actually ended up creating something like 80 new pieces of content for that, which is absolutely crazy. So I've been very, very busy over the last four months, but this now means that basically because this is all done and this is now live, that I will be coming back to YouTube again starting next week. Now I'm really excited to get back and I've got some awesome ideas that are gonna come. And yeah, so next week's video is going to be something really special, basically, just to announce my return. So yeah, I've actually now come to Thailand. I'm in the north of Thailand in the Chiang Mai area and registering my drones and all that stuff has been a little bit of a nightmare, but I'm kind of getting there now. We're almost at the end of all that stuff. So uh, yeah, if you made it this far, you deserve to get the discount code. So the discount code for 10% off in the first 72 hours is going to be early bird 10. So you can find the link in the description, which is going to take you to the course. So you can go and sign up, use that discount load, discount load, <laughs> discount code, and save yourself a bit of money along the way. So yeah, go and check out the course. The LUTs are also going to all be linked down in the description if that's something that you want to check out instead. But go ahead, check out all the new stuff that I've literally just released. I'm really looking forward to seeing you again next week for more YouTube shenanigans. So uh, yeah, thank you so much for bearing with me. Thank you so much to everyone for your support. It's been a long road. We got there in the end. I'm really happy that we have. I'm looking forward to be back. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.